Hello, welcome to this. Yep, <laughs> so today I'll be trying to install uh, Windows Whistler on this gateway laptop that I got for like $10 at a Salvation Army. Uh, it looks incredibly dilapidated because it is, uh, but <laughs> it was actually in pretty decent condition when I bought it. I did all this. I have Windows Whistler build 2410 on this USB stick. Actually, USB booting on this thing worked at one point, and then it just kind of broke. Luckily, there's a lovely tool called Plop Bootloader that lets me boot off of USBs on this thing. So, up oh, there it goes. That's Plop Bootloader if I've ever seen it. All right, we want to boot off of the USB. You know what I'm now realizing? Uh, I never set the BIOS state, and that's you know kind of a thing you have to do. So I'm actually gonna force shut down this. Cool. Now, one problem I have seen a lot trying to install Windows Whistler is it will just stop here at this setup is starting Windows Whistler screen. And it seems that that is what it's doing right now. Sick. Uh, I could try burning a disc, but I really don't want to. Fine, I'll burn a disc. All right, uh, I'll be, be. We have a disc now. It has when it has the same build of Windows Whistler on it. Once you look at that, all activity, uh, all the only indication of activity was the sounds of the disk drive. All of that has stopped. Well, this is build 2428. This is the build directly after what I just showed, what I just tried to install. The first one was beta 1. And this one is beta 2. The other one I tried to install looked more like Windows 2000, but had this really cool theme that I wanted to try out. Couldn't, couldn't install it though, so. It appears to be doing the exact same thing. Great. Now I have to get another build of Windows Whistler, and I know I am not installing, I'm not putting this on another disc, because I know it's going to do the exact same thing. 2446. This build is pretty much identical to the uh, last one that I tried to install. Shut up. Ah! It's doing the same thing. Oh. Nice. Might as well give it a shot. Same build. Just seeing if the blue screen was caused by the USB stick or the, you know, build. Let's go. I agree. Now, I think this is currently running Windows 7, which I don't really care about at the moment, so I'm just going to delete that partition. This makes me wonder if the previous build would have worked on CD. Ah. All right. Starting Windows, that's a good sign. Yo. That looks cool. I actually really like that loading bar. I mean, I know that it, you know, doesn't really fit the Windows XP aesthetic, but like if that was on like Windows 2000, I would like that. Welcome to Windows Whistler Professional Beta 2. This looks pretty similar to the Windows XP setup we have right now. Like, there's just a logo change. Uh, there's some... There, these are, you know, not circles. Were they circles in Windows XP? I know, I know they weren't this. And there's clouds. Alright, we've come to the language settings. This all, this all looks correct. Giga organization. 
Okay. Let me grab that real quick. Got it. Gigatech Whistler, sure. Sure, Gigatech Whistle. Internet Explorer has exciting new features such as one-click file saving, emailing, and picture printing. One or more minor errors occurred while installing Windows Whistler. Oh. Okay, yeah, it was just that. It was just because my name was too long, so it shortened it. No, I do not want to boot from the CD. Ooh, that's that that was quite smooth. Definitely. Do you want Windows to automatically correct your screen resolution and color depth? Sure. Please wait. Whoa! What? If there was any sound to that, I didn't hear it. I am here to help you set up your new computer. I, I, I will not be sharing this computer. There's nobody for me to share it with. That's it. What? Well, I will, I will say that that's different. That is quite an odd place for the welcome thing to be. There's just some more clouds up here. All right, we have successfully installed Windows Whistler. All right, so it seems the taskbar is unlocked by default for some reason. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ew. I'm just gonna... There's no picture here. And there's also, like, nothing here. WordPad. WordPad. Whoa. No. All right. Uh, let's let's just explore. Here's Windows Media Player. Is there any sample mute? I forgot about that one. Accessories. Can we can we get some paint action? I don't think this is how paint looked in in Windows XP. These buttons are different. That's broken. Okay, then this is my art. Save. Let's see what else is in here. Games. Pinball. We're playing pinball. There's no audio, unfortunately, so I can't can't hear the epic music. All right, playing again pinball now. There's nothing you can do about it. Ah! Uh, I accidentally hit the Windows key instead of Z, and it beeped at me. Oh! Let's see what else is in here? Entertainment. Ah, yes. Entertainment. Volume control. Magnifier. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. What does what does this look like close up? That's pretty crispy right there. Let's run Winver here actually. As you can see, this is Windows Whistler build 2446. Wahoo. Screensavers. I'm I'm curious what kind of screensavers on are here. Log on screensaver. 3D flower box. <laughs> I'm guessing 3D pipes is not gonna work then. No, Beezers, Beezers. Neom, Fish. Fish. Oh, we do have Bliss on here. Heck yeah. Now it just looks like Windows XP, Windows 2000. Why is, why is this on here? <laughs> this is just a leftover? Untitled. Oh. We are totally leaving this as the background. Alright, now it said that there was a tour of of this. I wanna I wanna I wanna, I wanna do that. Getting started. Nice. Yeah, I don't think the Windows tour is on here. Clock. Yeah Alright, that's pretty much it for this build of Windows. Windows Whistler. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll probably install Windows Longhorn on this thing at some point. If you liked the video, then leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And yeah, see ya. Ooh, that's a nice fade.